So Dan, this art is called Gort Pla'atu Ba'ada Niktu. Why? Well, I think it's because the artist, Simon Patterson, decided that he wanted to celebrate a film called The Day the Earth Stood Still, a 1951 science fiction film. The artist used that line because it's what a character says to Gort, who's a robot. Um, that line allows the Earth to be saved. So it's a really important line to remember, and you should probably keep it in your mind all the time. Also, it's not just a piece of reference to this film, it's also landing lights. And I'd like to imagine that aliens, should they ever beam down to Earth, would love to come to the OU science departments and meet the, some of the scientists here, because if they did that, they could be introduced to the first professor of biology who knew so much about the human brain and wrote 300 papers on it, Stephen Rose. Or they could meet Jocelyn Bell, Burnell, who as a student discovered quasars which were of such significance that a Nobel Prize was awarded, sadly just to her boss, but she nevertheless was the brains behind that. She also went on to win some money this year, £2.3 million, which she donated to ensure that students and, uh, uh, could study, if they were, particularly if they were refugees or women. So those are a couple of scientists who've been here. There's plenty of other ones, and one of them is Monica Grady, who of course is famous for the uh, communicating her enthusiasm and engagement with part of the Rosetta project to land a little tiny thing about the size of a fridge onto a comet. And we're outside the Robert Hooke building, where, as you said, there's a lot of science that happens. What are some of the things that go on inside here? Well, apart from those people, there's also the planetary exploration, which was led by Colin Pillinger, who worked here. And he was the person responsible for landing that tiny thing about the size of a pizza box or so on Mars. And not only did he need that, but also by his appearance, his engagement, his enthusiasm, he got a huge number of people interested in space exploration and science. So he was taking a rather arcane object, subject and making it accessible to many people. Thanks, Dan.